Hello gamers, family and friends. Let's play a little bit of Star's End. Um, used to play this a long while back, but they've done so much adding to it and fixing and redoing and everything, I figured I'd try it again. So let's create this character. And oh, I can't change the clothes color, can I? No. Okay. Create. They had some fool notion we'd be digging up precious minerals for them when they sent us here. Well, no, sir. I damn well mean to make these other boys do the mining. But hell, we all fancied we could live an eye on the hog, sitting pretty, eating crullers as the money poured in. How else would you talk us into 50 bloody years in stasis on one of them generation ships? No, sir. We were going to be the big bucks, making damn sure this watering hole called Star's End would never forget us. Sure as rain, it was only a matter of time till we drew down on each other. We might have had a smooth operation here for a bit, on a stable to Earth, building ships and stations, and even hammering us into cities. All of it. Now our cities are piss holes, our stations ramrodded by tin pot dictators, and here we are, split down the middle, rooting our ships at each other. Now, we got ourselves a predicament. Sure as piss things will turn into war, I tell you. You got your mercantile corporations that teamed up to give us peace and stability. Or put a yoke on every man and stole. Then you got your patriots, outlawed gunslingers using junk and stolen technology to char the hand and freeze them. And then you got your loners. We choose our own battles. We make decisions shrewd and terrible. Because it's only the fools that are poor. And the ill temper will get themselves killed. And then you have people like me. The sugar bucks who own everything. Well, I got what I came for. Question is, are you going to get yours? We will sure try. I had to delete a file to get this to work, but it's working. Global storage, we know about that. The kiosk around the system. Cryo, the compression initialized. Assessing vitals. Cryo, subject status is alive. Cryo, the compression complete. Please remain calm. <laughs> Oh, okay. Is a uh, switch between first and third person? That's what I was just asking. Oh my goodness! Left control. We may have to change that. If you find useful items on the ground or see a container, press F to interact with it. Let's see if we can find any containers. Last time I was in here, we had to run around and try to find what we could. But we'll do that again. I enjoy uh, space games and stuff like that. Ship container, F. Nothing in it. Salvo, we'll take that. I forget exactly what that was for, but we'll take it. No more containers around. Okay, we can't go back there. It's also left shift will uh, let you run as well. Welcome to KIP 3103. Starza, a resource rich system. Now let me just run through here right quick and get all I can.
Ooh, credits. 46 credits. Who would throw credits in the... in the trash like that? Alcohol. I think some of that stuff's illegal, maybe. Now you'll get some of these boxes and stuff that just say uh, it's illegal to take the stuff or something like that. And uh, and some of these places like this right in here, you can check the walls for compartments and stuff. Oh, I don't check them. Oh, see here? Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, see there? Close. Man, nothing in the bag. Come on, you could have had something in there. Is that elevator so we don't have to run upstairs? Ooh, charcoal rock and a prison blue beanie. Yeah, he put on that beanie right quick, didn't he? There's a commode and a laboratory. I love looking in things to try to get some. Just makes my day sometimes. Oh, blue jeans. Yay, we are fully dressed. See, that's why you, you walk around and do this stuff because, oh, a lighter. Now that will come in very handy. Empty bottle, I'll take that. Dirty water, no, you can boil the water on the fire. Oh, come on. They got to be some good weapons in them zip bags. Or at least something. I didn't go in this, these walls over here, but some of these, now some of them, oh, you'll find out, bottles come in handy also. the one I done looked in. I wasn't nothing in this one. One says up. Oh, now there you go. That is the kind of elevators we need. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, Clayton Council shirt. Let's see here. Prize, integrity 100. Integrity 100. Which would I rather have? I kind of like that.
Wait a minute, did I get all that stuff out? Yeah, I did. Wow, there's a lot to check here, y'all. And see, when you get multiples of them beanies and stuff like that, you uh, sell them and get some money. Every once in a while, one of these odd-looking ones will have something in it. Now, we'll just go through the ship in this episode. Next episode, we'll go down to the planet and start our career, whether good or bad. Oh, more blue juice, dirty galls, yeah, that's, and raw eggs, yeah, we can eat them. Oh, I can't go over there, I got to go all the way around. I'm sorry for doing all this like this, oh my goodness. This place has gotten big. Let's speed it up a little bit. Now, if I speed the game up, when I uh, record it in post-processing, I will uh, I'll just speed it up a little bit. And for thievery, you can get by with one strike. Two strikes, I forget exactly what it is, but you gotta watch out. Oh yeah, we need sticks too to make arrows. I ain't got nothing decent in the bag yet. Okay, I couldn't remember if I checked that or not. Okay. Uh, he wants us to come see him. Bridge access granted. I thought we're finding him maybe some cigarette butt things or trash cans or something. If we find that. This is us above the world. The world is down there. That is where I'll be going. Okay, let's see here. Ship crew. No handouts, no idle chatter, and nothing to tell you out of my face, you dang horsefly. Excuse me. You know, I was trying to be cordial. So what's up here? See, this is all new. But I don't see nothing up here. But... Alright, we got to get on upstairs. I was hoping this one would carry us on up. Sometimes you can come back to these things and they'll be refilled. It just all depends. Oh, did I ever do that? See that hand icon? Ooh, a dirty white shirt. I'll take that. This is the elevator. It 
will take you up there to see him. Uh, we'll probably go up, up here too. Let's sell a couple of these things I got. Do you want something? I got quality merchandise. Show me, dude. Show me. And see, all you have to do is just sell. Yeah. And you got different people that's got better prices. So you got to watch out for that. Dirty white shirt. Sell it. That's the ones I got on. The ones that's grayed out. Um. These are used for crafting and stuff, which a lot of this stuff is used for crafting. We need to make some band-aids too. Well, why have I got two beanies on? Um. Let's see here, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. They've had a shred. You don't have an item sharp enough. Oh, we gotta make us a knife, y'all. Hey, we can make a saw. Let's see. Stick, scrap, and scrap cloth. We are going to need a saw. Among other things. Well, that's a noisy crafting thing, ain't it? Alright. We have a saw. And when we go out of here... You see it right down there when you press one, then you press two. The saw is on his back now. I always wonder why they didn't use a regular saw. I gotta get off one of them beanies, man. Uh, character? No. Let's see if we can sell one now. I didn't know I had a bun on the back of my head. Oh, oh, prison. That is why. Okay. Standard use beanie hat worn by. Okay, we got, we got a, uh, decraft some of these things. Uh, we done been through there. Did we talk to this guy? Sometimes everybody will give you something needful. What is that? File cabinet. Oh yeah. Clean water. Take it. A locker. Polymers. Polymers come in handy. Best in the system. Need first aid. Until we get to that point, we can sell this right here. Or the cigarettes. Because we'll find more. Sell two of them. Huh. How come we can't do nothing with that? Might have to do it in our own inventory. 
Oh, use will calm your nerves, I think. It'll give you a boost. Don't have an item sharp enough. Well, what is the knife? We gotta make a blade. We need a bed. Usually we'll find a bed somewhere, so I'm not gonna make that. An axe. Goodness. Band-aids. Dirty goals. We use that scrap cloth that we used a while ago. Thought there might have been a cabinet over here or something. Alright. Well. I want to make sure I got everything. And this goes up too. That's right, we can't go no farther down there, can we? I like to check everything out on the ship before I go down. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Another lighter. Yeah, you can sell them for about 45 Or it used to be that. Oh, what was that? Oh. Yes, sir. Let's either find it here or go down on the planet and start finding it. Plant is what you make your arrows with. Nothing down here. Oh, we can't cross over to the other side. This is what's going to take us down to the planet. Yes. I don't see nothing else down that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, those are body bags. Oh, did I take it automatically? I guess I did. Empty bottle. I guess we did. All right. We got to go upstairs right quick. Did I check these two? A three, yes I did. So we should have three flint at least, yep. That means it's automatically coming.
I don't see anything else down that way. Nothing down there. Scrap metal. Ooh. Boy, these were hiding, wasn't they? And this is what I do. I check all these containers out. All right. Nothing else there. And you'll find you inventory bags too and, and stuff that'll give you more inventory. So all this checking stuff is good. Let's go talk with him and uh, he'll get us on down to where we need to go. Lieutenant Diesel. Easy there. You're probably experiencing post-transfer effects. Your mind's been in stasis for 25 years. But hey, congratulations. You finally arrived at the butt end of the galaxy. Star's end. Beta Prairie Quadrant. Oh, uh, only seemed like a few minutes. Well then, let's get you on your way. This resettlement campaign will push you to your limit. All your dreams of a fresh start are coming true. But keep in mind, it ain't civilized out here. The Star's End system is going through tough times. Um. Star's End is a big system with a dozen planets and moons, and you're lucky to be starting at Beta Prairie. It's been terraformed to be somewhat Earth-like, but, well, not really. Anyway, what does an old space grunt like me know? Go on now and see your Cryo Travel Corp insurance officer. Officer Joy over there will set you straight. All right. See you later, alligator. She's down there. Ooh, I love them things. Officer Joy. And a warm welcome to you. Right now, I gotta address you as Clone Settler Number Beta Sierra 159. Due to regulations. Either way, I'm your consciousness transfer insurance processing officer. Goodness. Glad to see your vitals are in the green. And look at that. They even got the face sculpted correctly on that random body. You don't see that often. Something wrong? Uh, no, that's fine. Easy, buddy. As per your contract with Cryo Travel Corp. Section 25, as long as we deliver you to the destination, Cryo Travel Corp.'s obligations are fulfilled. Doesn't matter what body you're in. Um, I'm confused. What happened? Well, you know how it is with generation ships. A third of the passengers don't unfreeze correctly. Oh my. So we transfer the consciousness into a new body and perform a minor surgery to get your mug right. That being said, I am happy to congratulate you on having your clone and life insurance plan initiated. All right. I'll take this all the way to the cabin. Well, what's done is done. That's right. Hick, let's get you outfitted first. Captain sees you like that, he'll never sign off for you to land on Beta Prairie. Head on down to the market district. It's a couple of sections over. Find Quartermaster Harper's office. He'll set you up with your gear. Now, you stay frosty, Greenhorn. All right, very well. Which way is... Which way is he? Oh, he's over. He's up and over, huh? Can we go over there from right here? I don't think so.
He should be up right up here somewhere. Let's try this one. Oh, there he goes. Hey there. Fresh off the boat and looking for gear, eh? I got some bad news. Your old gear has been requisitioned as per cryo travel. Just business, kiddo. Anyway, I'm only a paper pusher, so stop your yet. Aw, oh, don't be like that. I'm trying to help, really. Feel free to explore the rest of the ship. There's Maybe plenty I to see and do. Talking to him. Or don't. I got a feeling you'll be a frequent visitor here. Each time you die out there, your insurance plan will rescue your consciousness and place you in a new body here. Hopefully you'll survive at least an hour down there. <laughs> I honestly can't wait to meet you again. Friend? Uh, I meet again. Oh, okay. A shirt added, white jeans, and gray boots. One hundred. Yeah, we'll wear these. Wear. The shirt. Yeah, we'll wear that. Over our hudden. Sometimes you'll sell the cheap stuff. And boots. Where was the boots? Or did he put them on? He done put them on. Okay. All right, get me another hat, though. I don't like this one. Oh, he was over here anyway. A new arrival, eh? It's written all over you. Hold on, let me guess. You got royally screwed by the Cryo Travel Corp. Guess what? That's life. Before I let you go to the landing pod, this old space dog's got a few words of wisdom for you. Care to listen? Let's keep it short. So, you came here to get a chance at a new life. Is that right, Pilgrim? Sure, there's new turf to claim, but it won't be easy. Carve a homestead out of the virgin frontier, right? You're from Earth, so you'll be the dark horse. See, our ship is one of the only ones to arrive here for a while, given the crisis happening on Earth. And the folks on Beta Prairie were angry as bees, I can tell you, when we got here. Not happy to see new competitors. But we gotta keep this resettlement campaign on track, no matter what. It's what you came here for, Pilgrim. A future for yourself. Carve a homestead out of the virgin frontier, right? But Star's End ain't what it once was. Nothing but wasteland out there now. Without proper gear, you're gonna need to get through primitive survival first. Fire, bow and arrow, all that. Before you can really start building tech and spaceships. So get ready to grind. And die. Over and over. How about I stay on the ship instead? You hired? Whoa. What did I sign up for? You proper scared now? Before you wet yourself, head back to the cryo chamber and hop into the landing pod. It will take you down a mile or so away from the town of Clayton. A major settlement down on Beta Prairie. Follow the new colonist survival guide and you'll be okay. Dismissed. All right. Civilian cleared for resettlement. All right, let's go get resettled. There they are, right here. Oh, it ain't going through there. It's right here. No, no, I wanted to get out. Oh, man. Well, this ain't it. Oh, come on. Dirty water, you 
can blow it and make it good. Uh oh, oh, I hurt myself. Yeah, we automatically heal up. Little by little. All right, this is it. Right here. First time, eh? No worries. The trip is quick, and the landing pod will take you to a safe location just outside of Claytonshire. Locals don't want us sending ferries with New Earthers to town. So, we're landing you folks discreetly. Oh, and if you die, you won't need to bother with the crew. Just pop out of stasis and step right into the landing pod. Go ahead. Step right in and activate the landing pod console. Well, here it goes. All right. We're going to do this, and then we're going to have to... Log off. Departure. Because we're at time. Five seconds. Atmosphere entry countdown initiated. Please remain seated. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Step building Who home weapon vehicles, our materials, and I, I know about most network. all this. So, left button to punch. You can fight off some simple enemies just with your fists, and we can get prickly plants by doing that. Yep, I know. And see, this is scrap metal. I don't have no more in it now. And they are some uh, few bad creatures around, too. I don't know about right here at this spot, but... So, we got us a few little, little tidbits. I thought I picked that up. Alright. If you would, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and I appreciate all the new subs. I love you, appreciate you, bless you, couldn't do it without you. We'll find us a home for too long. All right, goodbye.